Hello, welcome to M2 Antenna Systems. Today, we'll be checking out a full turnkey transmit calibration system that we've built um, using, well, everything that we built into it. So this system has a CPU, a KVM, an ethernet switch which routes it out and allows communications to every other device, an antenna control unit, M2 uh, antenna system specific. It also has a variable power supply, remote controlled, remote controlled synthesizer, and a UPS just to clean up the power and just in case anything gacks. This system is designed to be a lights out operation system. In other words, once everything's connected up and once it's hooked up to a tower, in this case a 100 foot tower with the capability of transmitting 100 megahertz to 12.5 gigahertz, either in vertical linear, horizontal linear, right hand circular polarization or left hand circular polarization through that entire range. So. Let's get this thing turned on. And it should wake up. There we go. Now, you can see this uh, uh, APC power distribution unit, which is remote switchable. You can turn on or off any of these ports. The same one lives in the back of this particular rack. Comes on, wakes up, and turns on all the outlets. The same thing is happening to this one. And as you can see, the antenna control unit is turned on. The power supply is turned on. The ethernet switch is now turned on. The KVM is turned on. Now it's time to turn on the CPU. So, let's log into this system and see what we've got going on. There we go. First things first, we have remote access to both of these PDUs, and that remote access can extend either via VPN or SSH tunnel or however you want to do it, via wireless air bridge or any other method so that you can control this system in a remote location anywhere around the world and still be able to control and status it. In this case, you can get to the power distribution units. In this case, I'm controlling the one behind this rack. And you can control any outlet that you want. In this case, I am going to cycle power to the antenna control unit. So you choose your action. In this case, reboot immediate. You choose just the port you want to power cycle. You hit next and then you hit apply. Just like a lot of other things computer related, they keep coming back and asking you, are you really, really sure? And as you can see, it's turned off and in five seconds, it'll turn back on. Now, one of the other things that we can do with this system is we can also control the power supply. Again, everything here is remote operated. Completely lights off, hands off system. So right now we're gonna turn this power supply on. This is the power supply that's going to be sending voltage up a 100 foot tower to an RF electronics enclosure along with an azimuth elevation and polarization rotator that will be at the top of that tower. So let's just go ahead and turn this power supply on. There you go, there's your 48 volts, and now let's turn that back off. We can also remotely control our synthesizer. Because this is a calibration tower, 
you're going to have to control the RF generation system. So we can turn RF on, we can turn RF off, we can change the power level. In this case, let's go to minus 45 dBm. We can change the frequency. Everything here can be locally operated or remotely operated. So if you have an operator who's standing with the system and needs to do specific things, you can position the antenna, you can turn on, off, and or change this voltage, you can operate the signal generator and everything that you need to do to operate the entire system. It's a full turnkey operation. So let's go ahead and turn RF back off and close this out. We can also directly control Currently, the electronics for the RF enclosure are still sitting on the bench over here, so we can directly control that from here or from anywhere else in the world remotely. And so I'm doing left-hand circle pole, right-hand circle pole, both low frequency, horizontal linear, vertical linear. Now I'm going to change my monitor port because we built the power sensor into this thing so that we can sense the forward power that we're actually sending out through the antennas so that we have direct real-time feedback for what it is that we're sending. And vertical high frequency, horizontal high frequency, left-hand circle pole, right-hand circle pole with additional amplification and everything on. So everything at this point in time has been integrated and now it's just time to finish building the RF enclosure now that all of the components have come back in from paint, from fabrication, from manufacturing, and everything's ready to go. So that's going to be one of our next steps and probably one of our next videos as well is showing that integration. So thank you very much for visiting M2 Antenna Systems and have a great day.